It's a huge fight continuing to rage in Texas. How should the state fund public education? What impact should testing have on schooling? What about vouchers? And how can districts pay for it all without going into debt? We're going in-depth this evening at Touchy Subjects, brought hundreds to the state capitol today on both sides of the debate. Education reporter Aaron Cargyle has more on what they're fighting for. No matter which side of the education debate you're on, there was a spot to make some noise at the state capitol Saturday. On the south side, the more organized Save Texas Schools group. Pleading with lawmakers to cut back testing and speed up restoring millions they cut from classrooms last session. Two years ago may have been the Alamo, but this year may well be our San Jacinto. On the north side, a less rowdy and much smaller crowd. We don't think the education system needs more money. What they need is for the money to be spent more wisely. Their message, let parents send their kids to public, private, or charter schools with taxpayer-funded scholarships. Simply put, we have too many kids in failing schools with no way out. An idea others cannot stand. And the efforts to privatize schools, the efforts to say, we're going to commoditize and marketize education. Here's your ticket. Go find an education somewhere else. The state isn't going to be on the hook for that. Is an abdication of the constitutional responsibility of the state legislature and a failure to fulfill its duty. In the crowd, there are still some, like this Austin teacher, trying to figure out just where she stands. I'm definitely here for the kids, but I'm also here for, like, understanding the system more and, like, what is my place in creating systematic change. In downtown Austin, Erin Cargyle, KXAN News.